we've defined the steady state. Many Markov chains are in fact controlled by their steady state in the following way. First, they have one and only one steady state. Second, if you is any probability distribution, then the limit as k approaches infinity of a to the power of k, where a is the transition matrix times u equals v. In other words, no matter what your initial probability distribution is, as time passes and you repeatedly transition from state to state over and over again, your probability distribution is getting closer and closer to the steady state. Let's look at to this in terms of this example. We have this Markov chain and we have our transition matrix and we have our steady state. So here will be an initial probability distribution. And this was generated totally at random using a random number generator. So this vector doesn't have any special or any nice properties. But my claim is that if I take this initial probability distribution and start transitioning over and over and over, then my initial probability distribution is going to turn into this with time. And that is true. It's, we don't really have any good way of computing this limit, but we can let k be a large number and see what happens. If we let k be 100, this matrix to the power of 100 times this initial probability distribution gives us this probability distribution. So very close to the steady state. As I say up here, many Markov chains have this property where kind of skirting the edge, unfortunately, of what's appropriate in an undergraduate to linear algebra class, trying to state a theorem for when Markov chains do or do not have this property is probably a little beyond us. So we're going to have to be happy with many and not to worry about 
the details.